This video demonstrates how to successfully complete an Orion platform migration to a server with a new IP address or hostname. These steps apply to all SolarWinds products on the Orion platform. In this video, we'll show you how to migrate Network Performance Monitor, Server and Application Monitor, and Virtualization Manager on Orion Platform 2017.3. Whenever you are preparing a new server, you should use the guidelines available in the SolarWinds Success Center. Navigate to support.solarwinds.com. Click on the product icon and locate the minimum requirements link. Here you will find a detailed list of requirements and specifications for each application. If you are migrating more than one product, then you should refer to the multi-module system guidelines. Here you can locate the recommended guidelines for hardware and software deployments. After you have completed this step, gather the local admin credentials for the current and new servers. Be sure to gather the credentials for the Microsoft SQL Server that holds the Orion database as well. Download the SolarWinds product installation files from the customer portal. Copy the files to the new server. SolarWinds recommends using the online installation files if your server has access to the internet. This helps ensure that the latest hotfixes will be included during the install. If your server is a member of a high availability pool, Delete the pool. Now you can start the migration. First, park the license from your old server so that you can apply it to the new server. To do this, you'll need to log into the Orion Web Console and access the License Manager. Click Settings, All Settings, License Manager. Copy and paste your activation keys to a text file that you can move to the new server at a later step. Select the product and click Deactivate. Continue until you have deactivated all your products. The License Manager makes parking your license very easy. Simply select the license and click Deactivate. The license will automatically reappear on your customer portal. If you're offline, please refer to the link in the description section for instructions on how to proceed. Next, Stop all services on the original polling server by using the Orion Service Manager. It's okay to leave the original server running. During migration, SolarWinds recommends backing up your database. If you need software to perform database backups and maintenance, you can install SQL Management Studio for your specific version of Microsoft SQL on your Orion SQL database server. Please refer to the link in the description section to download the latest version. Open the SQL Management Studio Express on the Orion SQL Server using your Windows credentials. From the Object Explorer, expand Databases and locate the SolarWinds Orion Database. Right-click on the Orion Database and select Tasks, then Backup. Create a full backup of your SolarWinds SQL Database. Next, you may need to backup files. If you use Report Writer Reports, NPM 10.5 and earlier, or still have legacy reports, back up the reports folder to the new server. If you're using NCM, please refer to the link in the description section for a list of additional folders that may need to be backed up. Now, install the Orion product on the new server. Right-click on the installer and select Run as Administrator. Because this is not an evaluation of NPM, we will perform a standard installation. Click Next. Select the products you are using on the old server. Click Next. Accept the terms of the End User License Agreement, then click Next again. If you're prompted to install missing IIS components, click Yes, and the Configuration Wizard will install them for you. Do not run the Configuration Wizard after the installation is finished. You will complete this step later. Click Cancel. If NTA is included in the migration, you can find the link in the description section for a list of necessary steps. Next, you need to replace all references to the old server with the new server name. Please note, you will need to complete these steps either from the server where the SolarWinds Orion SQL database is installed or from the original Orion server where services are stopped. Run the host name command from the command line to confirm the name for your new server. If you have decommissioned the old server completely, look in the engines table. You will replace server1 with the current value of server name from the engines table. 
Navigate to the Engines table and click Engines. Then click Execute Query from this window. Run this query and replace Server 1 and Server 2 with the appropriate host names. You must use the NetBIOS short names to the old and new servers to properly complete this step. If you're migrating an Orion Platform 2015.1.3 or earlier, you'll see a message stating that the Orion server's update query failed. This is expected and will not cause a problem. If you are migrating additional web servers or additional polling engines, please refer to the link in the description section. Next, you need to go to Server 2. Our host name is Support-0574. Run the configuration wizard on Server 2, connecting to the database using the SQL Server credentials that you collected earlier. Click Next. Enter the IP address, followed by the host name of your SQL Server. Click Next. Select your existing account and then click Next. If this warning message appears, click Yes to dismiss it. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Next one more time. Please note that a CSR is not required to migrate a certificate from one IIS server to another. All you need to do is export the certificate from the certificate store using the Certificate Management MMS. Then, simply import that certificate into IIS on the new Orion server. Since it's IIS on both ends, there's no need to consult third-party documentation from an SSL vendor. These same steps can be followed for self-signed as well as those issued through a trusted certificate authority. Click Yes to this trap service question. Click Next. Click Finish. Next, you need to reinitialize the license store. In the command line shell on your active main polling engine, navigate to the licensing folder inside the Orion installation folder. From the licensing folder, Execute the migration.exe slash expire all command and follow the on-screen instructions. Start the Orion module engine on the main polling engine. It will take a few minutes for services to fully load. Please allow a few moments before confirming that the license manager displays the expired evaluation licenses of the installed products. In the licensing folder, run migration.exe slash migrate. This registers the machine as a potential license store substitute. For steps that would include an environment using Orion High Availability, please refer to the link in the description section. Next, we need to assign the product license to the new server. Log into the Orion Web Console, click Settings, All Settings, License Manager. Now you're going to use the activation keys that you gathered earlier. Select the product and click Activate. Complete the wizard and enter your activation key. Next, you need to copy legacy reports to the server and place the folder in the proper location. Navigate to the Reports folder and copy the reports here. Restart all services. As a final step, make sure to validate all devices. This is important because it will allow SNMP and WMI requests from the new address. For example, a firewall or access control list may need to be updated to allow the new server to complete its polling. If your server was an HA pool member, recreate your HA pool. This is for SolarWinds HA, not Failover Engine HA. The migration process is now complete. For any scenarios that are not covered by this example, please refer to the articles that we've provided. For information or assistance with any of our other products, please visit the Success Center.